Welcome to Happy Talks. I am Liz Snope. I'm the Customer Enablement and Training Manager, and I am here with Mike, our Head of Sales and our VP of Operations here at Happy or Not in the Americas. Hi, Mike. Hi. You excited to talk? Very much. <laughs> okay. Looking forward to doing this again. Okay, good, good. All right, so Liz, you've been with Happy or Not now for a few months, and you've kind of restarted and reshaped our entire onboarding process for our new customers, which has been an absolutely fantastic uh, program. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about some of the different things you've seen and some of the different trends you've identified when you're onboarding new customers. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think... Of course, we're seeing the things that we would expect to see, right? Mm -hmm. Where we're helping customers to identify their highlights and their pain points, what's working and what's not for their frontline staff um, or for their employees when we're looking at employee experience. Uh, but there are many other benefits that I've gotten to see in terms of ways that we can apply the data and the results um, for a customer. One of them that's been really cool to see is this idea of encouraging healthy competition within mm -hmm. a business. So um, when we think about healthy competition, right, you usually need two things. One is who you're gonna be measuring. And it works best when you're looking at not only individuals, but also teams. So mm -hmm. having some variety there. And it you need a reliable measurement source, mm -hmm. right? And that's where we come in. <laughs> so when we're working with clients on how to set up that healthy competition and how to analyze their data to um, look at how their employees are stacking up, and how their teams are stacking up. Mm -hmm. um, we have these experience points set up. If we're looking at, let's say, a grocery store, right? And we have one location. And within that location, you have a smiley at register one, at register two, at register three. And you also have one in the bakery and in the deli and in customer service, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to know who, what employee is corresponding with that experience point where the customer is having the experience with that employee and giving the feedback on the smiley. So as a manager or someone looking over that specific location, you can look at that individual performance because you're gonna know who's tied to that smiley and experience point and mm -hmm. you're gonna see how they're performing. And that's where you get to have some healthy competition between your employee and that's a great motivator for employees. Absolutely, and it also helps the management team on who they need to help with a little bit of additional training. Yeah, absolutely. So you're not only looking at that healthy competition, but you're looking at who am I praising and who, not that I'm tearing down, but that needs support, that needs mm -hmm. building up. Um, and beyond just looking at individuals, you have an amazing opportunity to look at what teams are working. So this idea that let's say, again, I'm the same grocery chain, but now I'm the regional manager and I've got 10 different locations. I can now have healthy competition between those 10 different locations because the way that we set up our groups and our experience points in our really amazing and easy to use analytics solution um, is that you can see how each location is performing. Mm -hmm. And when you're looking at our analytics and when you're looking at our reporting subscriptions that you're getting sent to your email or on your app, it's going to give you this great rankings widget that is going to tell you who who's your risers, who's not only doing well, but they're improving their performance, mm -hmm. who's falling, and how does each location rank against each other. And then within the location, you can look, how, how are the different experience points ranking against each other? Mm -hmm. So you have all these amazing measurement tools that can encourage not only some healthy competition, but camaraderie between teams because mm -hmm. if you're having different locations kind of competing against one another they have that shared motivation to try to improve absolutely yeah one of the things that is really important when you look at a store in say a rural location mm -hmm. versus a store in miami you know that store in miami they can't really compete with or excuse me the rural store can't compete with miami on sales information right they're not going to be able to compete on a on a on a just a pure numbers and dollars perspective but what they really have control over every single day when they go into the, to work is how their customers feel when they leave. And that's like the great equalizer. And we can measure that across all the different locations so that they really have something that's a level playing field for everyone to compete across. Yes, yeah, totally. And I think, you know, 
that rural location might have a really high happy index. Mm -hmm. And the big bustling location in Miami might not realize it, but they can learn something Definitely. from that rural location. So what, what, because we have those specific metrics that are looking mm -hmm. at what that customer experience is, or on the flip side, the employee experience, we really can drill into tangible ways that things are working or not working. Mm -hmm. um, and I think even with competition, what can be cool as well is when you you pull out even further, um, even people high up in the company on the C-suite, they're competitive too, right? And when you're looking at your metrics and looking at the happy index, or if you prefer the MPS, you know, converting it over and looking at MPS, because we have both in our analytics program, you're also able to look and see what the industry standards are, mm -hmm. what the industry benchmarks are, because we have so much data, you know, 1.5 billion feedback pieces. Um, with that, we've built out so much comparable data that you can see, okay, I'm in services. How am I comparing to the top 10% yep. of performers um, around the country? And that really helps with target setting as well, but it helps with that feeling of healthy competition, of wanting to drive your business further. Definitely.